Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this homecoming slash just high school event look. Um, you know, I, I chose everything and like my technique and my colors with high schoolers in mind, so this is a pretty easy makeup tutorial and I try to choose colors that, you know, if you can't afford the high-end, um, you know, makeup, like I guess eyeshadows that I'm using, it's really easy to figure out dupes for that to get the same sort of colors, same texture. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it, and um, you know I hope your homecoming hasn't happened already. <laughs> so we're starting this tutorial today. I already have foundation on. Uh, right now I'm honestly not wearing a very heavy coverage foundation because I'm not going to be actually wearing this outside. But even if you're the type of girl who on a day-to-day -day basis you don't really wear foundation, I would definitely recommend that you um, do foundation if you're going to be doing full makeup for homecoming or any sort of high school event. We're going to come in today starting with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm just going to be applying it just from my eyelid all the way up to the eyebrow and a little bit underneath too. I don't know why I just accidentally put that on my nose. Okay, so for eyeshadow, um, when I was thinking about what I would recommend you guys do for homecoming, there's a few things I took into account. I wanted to use eyeshadows that had a good amount of dupes available, you know, drugs for dupes, because I'm going to be personally using MAC. So um, I chose eyeshadows that have drugstore dupes, easily accessible, and also eyeshadows that aren't too difficult to blend out, because I wanted to give you guys an easy look that you could super simply recreate and not have to stress too much about your makeup. So today we're going to be doing satin taupe, just over the eyelid, all over sheer wash of color, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So we'll just start with that, just putting it all over the eye. And me, I'm going to take it even like a little bit above the crease. Okay, so now we have this going on. So what I'm going to do is take a blending brush. This is just the MAC 224. And I'm going to take MAC Soft Brown and just blend it out through the crease. So whatever you use to apply the satin taupe, um, turn it over and I'm just going to be applying Stila Kitten into like the inner corner. So now for the crease, um, just to get a little more action, make it a little more interesting, I'm going to be taking just like a matte black I got from Sephora and put that into the crease. Um, any matte black will work, doesn't even matter where it's from. I'm just putting it on a pencil brush and I'm just going to do a little triangle shape. So then what you should do, I'm just going to be taking a 217 brush, you can take any sort of fluffier brush that you could work in the crease with and you're just going to put a little bit of satin taupe on your brush and use that to blend it out. Really simple. And then you're just going to go back in with the 224 with the soft brown on it and once again um, just go over like the top of the eyeshadow and help blend it out. Alright, so then I'm just going to take that 217 again um, just with the leftover product and run it under my lower lash line. I'm going to just take that black and whatever's left over, run it on the outer portion. So you guys can use um, liquid eyeliner if that suits you better, but I'm just going to be doing a little bit of pencil eyeliner. I actually don't have a black liquid or gel eyeliner right now. So, so I put just a little bit on the upper lash line. I'm going to go back in with that pencil um, brush and with the black just smudge it out along the upper lash line. Okay, 
so that's done. And now this is where, if you're going to wear fake eyelashes, go ahead and apply those. But me, I'm just going to be doing mascara, so. I'm using a Jordana Best Lash Extreme. And then, you know, if you want to, of course, you can put mascara on the bottom. So that's basically the eye look. So if you want it, you know, a little bit different, of course, you can put your own spin on it. You're welcome to, um, you know, put a nude eyeliner on the waterline or black eyeliner on the waterline, whatever you're used to. So for me, just to finish off the look, I'm going to just put on a little bit of a MAC lip gloss. It's kind of dark. Um, the color's rubbed off because it's so old, so I don't know what color it is. I'm sorry. And then as far as blush goes, I'm not a big blush person, but with this, I would use a really, um, a really kind of neutrally blush, like, I'd probably use something like Blush Baby. Alright, so I think that's the whole look. Hope you guys enjoy it.